When it comes to CNN's Chris Cuomo, I wanted to just take a minute and commend him for his consistent journalistic integrity. <laughs> and, and by journalistic integrity, I mean being a complete and utter shill for Hillary Clinton, of course, because that's apparently how you measure whether or not someone is a good journalist. What are you doing to defeat Trump? Are you trying to uh, help Hillary Clinton? All right, good journalist. That's what everyone apparently uh, believes now. So we've all lost our minds in this country. But you don't have to take my word for it that Chris Cuomo is a Hillary shill. You can take Chris Cuomo's word for it. She does take quite a while longer. Mm. What happens to other folks who want a chance problem. to run against her? Because she's doing what they call in politics, freezing pockets. Because the donors are giving her money thinking she's going to run. That means they're not going to have available money for other exactly. candidates if she doesn't. And I don't think she's going to give it to them. She's on her way. To deciding. We'll see. About deciding. We couldn't help her any more than we have. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? She's, she's I got just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign, so... Gotcha, bitch! We couldn't help her any more than we have. <laughs> I know. You know what I mean? She's, she's I got just a free ride so far from the media. We're the biggest ones promoting her campaign. No shit. So there you have it. CNN admitted that they are one of the biggest promoters of Hillary Clinton's campaign. And that's not surprising, seeing that Time Warner is the parent company of CNN who also happens to be the seventh largest donor to Hillary Clinton. So you have this conflict of interest, but now you actually see how that plays out in their news coverage because Chris Cuomo has been trying to desperately censor news about the WikiLeaks scandal because that would obviously hurt Hillary Clinton. Take a look. What do you think Donald Trump needs to do to come out on top? Well, on the character issue, the public, you know, two thirds or more of the public knows that Hillary Clinton's a liar. She can't be trusted. And now the two faces of Hillary Clinton are coming out. The fact through WikiLeaks that she says one thing. Uh, and oh, no. All right. Let's see if we can get Congressman Collins back. Obviously, we just lost the satellite feed. That sucks. Um, uh, and I wonder if you know that I know who's lying right now. Now that's not all that Chris Cuomo is doing to try to help Hillary Clinton and silence people who want to talk about WikiLeaks. He's also literally fabricating laws that don't exist, trying to persuade people to not look at the WikiLeaks email because if you do that, you might be held legally liable uh, and you're breaking the law. So you have to let CNN look at the WikiLeaks thing for you and tell you what's in it. And we've looked at it, trust us, and we can tell you there's nothing in there. Also interesting is remember, it's illegal to possess uh, these stolen documents. It's different for the media. So everything you learn about this, you're learning from us. And in full disclosure, let's take a look at what is in there and what it means. Always lying to me. Why? You're lying so much. Why? You're making it hard. So this obviously demonstrates that Chris Cuomo is in the tank for Hillary Clinton. And we knew that he was an avid Clinton supporter back during the primaries when he did a town hall with Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton. And all the questions were skewed against Bernie Sanders when Bernie Sanders had flip-flopped on gun control. He said, Bernie, tell him how you flip-flopped on gun control. Yet he didn't call Hillary Clinton out for flip-flopping on the TPP and a hundred other policy issues that she's flip-flopped on. But he called out Bernie Sanders for that, and just generally speaking, he was much more kind to Hillary Clinton, and I called him out for it during the primaries during his town hall. A couple things that I noticed, I don't know if I'm crazy, but you know, let me just throw them out there. So he was really, really soft towards Hillary Clinton. He tried to quote challenge her a couple of times, but he didn't push back against Hillary Clinton like he did against Bernie Sanders. And furthermore, when it comes to time restraints, so he interrupted Bernie Sanders, he interrupted Martin O'Malley, but Hillary Clinton droned on for like 50 minutes about foreign policy and how, well, I flew to Cairo to meet with President Morsi of Egypt, then I was here, then I was there. I mean, was he ever going to cut her off? Because he certainly cut off Bernie Sanders and Martin O'Malley. So I thought that, that wasn't fair. And you can really tell who Chris Cuomo's candidate was. It certainly wasn't Bernie Sanders. It certainly wasn't Martin O'Malley. This guy's not a real journalist. And he doesn't want you to know what's in WikiLeaks because he knows that would hurt Hillary Clinton. Well, here's the problem with that. If you're a journalist, you're not supposed to give a shit about what helps or hurts candidates. You're supposed to report the news and allow your viewers to make their own decision, but you don't want to do that. And since Chris Cuomo doesn't want to actually talk about what's in WikiLeaks, I'm going to tell you what's in WikiLeaks because I think that as a citizen who's going to be voting, you deserve to know. I mean, it doesn't matter whether or not 
these things are going to hurt Hillary Clinton's campaign or how much of a madman Trump is in comparison. What matters is that we have the truth out there and that citizens can make their decision based on facts. But when you try to censor the WikiLeaks scandal, then you diminish the integrity of our democracy and you prevent people from making a, an objective decision. And it's just so frustrating. So let me tell you what's in WikiLeaks. So the first email shows that John Podesta... Oh no, obviously we just lost the satellite feed. That sucks. 